my lovelies. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. My name's Rachel and welcome to your um, weekend tarot reading. So this is what you need to know for the weekend. Let's put an oracle card to get started. We've already got one that's flipped. Oh, two that flipped. Okay. So the first card you've got is Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? Are you not taking enough care of you? Are you so focused on other people or are you so focused on whatever people may think of you that you're not actually taking good care of yourself? You're not actually nourishing your needs and your wants and your desires because you're so focused on what everybody else needs and everybody else wants or you may be too worried about what everybody else thinks so you're trying to fit in. Um, and that's no good. You don't need to fit in with anybody. What you need to do is just be yourself. So this card's energy is guiding you to take care of you, to start mothering and looking after yourself and your needs and your wants in life because they are just as sometimes even more so important than anybody else's. When you fill your cup up, when you look after you first, you're then going to be able to give the energy that is needed to anybody else, including our children. So is it time for you to start looking after you? Okay, the other card we got is, oh, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So with this card, I did say that are you, make, are you not doing the things that you want, that you that you love to do because maybe someone said something to you before or maybe you've been criticised before, you've not took it very well. Um, maybe you want to fit in with the in crowd or you want to fit in with society. So you don't want to do anything that maybe you love to do because of whatever people may think of you. Um, this could also be family. You act in a certain way around your family because you don't want the hassle or you don't want the grief or you don't want the questions or anything like that. So you just try and fit in around your family and what they expect of you. This card's energy is saying don't dim to fit in. When you, my favourite quote, when you start caring about the opinions of other people to do with your life is when you give up complete control of your life. Because in everything that you then decide to do, or everything you are thinking of doing, you'll think about what other people are going to say before you go and do something. Even though it sounds fun, it sounds, it lights you up, it makes you happy, it's exciting. So and so next door might feel this way about it, so I better not do it. Therefore, you just give control of your life to somebody that doesn't even matter. So stop worrying about the opinions of other people and gain control of your life and don't dim to fit in. Light up and let people that love you, appreciate you and has got the same interests of you come to you. Stop searching for it. Let them come to you. And that goes the same in love as well. Okay, so let's get into tarot. Okay. Let's try that again because that was all over the place. Let's get into tarot and see what's... Okay, we've got the Ace of Coins and we've got the Justice card. Okay. Wow, we've got this, oh, the Six of Swords as well. Okay, let's get one more. And we've got the Ten of Wands and also that came out is the Nine of Wands. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Lovers card. So let's go one at a time, shall we? So the first one, we've got the Ace of Coins. It's showing there's going to be a new beginning, possibly a new beginning in your, in your finances, in your career, something to do with your wealth. Now, wealth can be looked at in many different ways, not just finances. It can be looked at as your health. It can be looked at in love, whatever resonates with you. But you're going to start something new. There's going to be an increase in your wealth in some way. Um, and you are guided to take this opportunity and run with it. Don't be scared of it. Don't worry about what other people think of you. Just go for it. it is, this is your new beginning for your life. And it's being presented to you to take advantage of. The other card we have here is the Justice card. So if you have been in 
a court, um, do a trial of, of some kind of, um, I don't know the word I want to use, but in some kind of justice type of situation, even to do with work, this could be to do with work as well, um, justice will be served, you will get the outcome, um, some of you are going to get the outco outcome that is right for you, and some of you are going to get an outcome that is fair. It might not be everything that you want, but it is fair for both parties. This is also showing for some of you as well that the justice card is showing that things that were put wrong, the things that were done wrong, sorry, to you, the things that were not meant for you, that you had to endure, which you wasn't supposed to, is about to put, be put right. Things are going to be turned around. Everything is going to be put back into its original form. Everything is going to put, be put back in its place for you to start again, which is what this new beginning is. The next card we have is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is showing that you are going to be moving away from something. I feel that you're going to be moving away from whatever this situation is. It feels like justice is going to be served and then you are going to move away. You're going to get the outcome you want or the fair outcome and then you're ready to move forward. You're taking the things that are necessary to you. You're taking the things that mean something to you and you're walking away from that part of your life and you're going to be walking into a new part of your life. Um, and there's going to be a transition period. You're going to go through a transformation. Now, transitions, transformations, however you want to say it, can be a bit icky. It can be feeling very stuck, very uncomfortable, but you're guided to keep pushing through anyway because once you push through the transformation, you go into the darkness, you always come out of the light and things are going to start turning around for you, but you need to go through that transition phase. So there is a new beginning coming, um, which will lead to you going through a transition phase, which will lead to you transforming from the old into the new. Um, but before that happens, there is going to be justice which is going to be served. Things that were done wrong, things that were not meant for you is going to be put right. Now, the next card that came out was the Ten of Wands. And this is also showing that it feels very hickety-pickety because... The Ten of Wands is showing that you're going to be moving away from something. Again, the Six of Swords, you're going to be moving away from something. You're finally going to be able to put down the baggage. You're going to be able to put down the weight that is on your shoulders right now. You're going to finally be able to put it down and you're going to be able to walk through a door with a new chapter. Because I do feel that you are carrying a heavy load on your shoulders and you've been carrying this heavy load for a really long time waiting just waiting for something to change now if you haven't seen wednesday's reading do go back and have a look at wednesday's reading i will link it um, at the end of this um this reading for you so this video for you so you can click onto it because that was all um about leaving things behind and moving forward so it's time for you to leave something behind and to move forward into a new direction don't take anybody else's opinions don't take anybody else's worries on your shoulders now you can either take the baggage with you and carry it around which is a heavy load or you can actually put it down and move forward now you've got the nine of wands so the nine of wands is about you persevering. It's not about persevering with a situation that's not making you happy anymore. This is about persevering through this transition phase. There's going to be a transition phase which is going to be bumpy. Okay, transition and transformation phases are not pretty. It's not like, I'm going to start a new life, everything's exciting, I can't wait. And then you hit the obstacle. And then you overcome that obstacle, then you hit another obstacle. And it just keeps hitting obstacle after obstacle. Remember, those obstacles are lessons, so that when you get to the other side, you have all the tools you need to enjoy your life. And the Nine of Wands is saying that while you're doing that, you need to persevere. You need to keep going. 
don't quit. Just keep moving forward one day at a time and know that all the obstacles and all the lessons that are getting in your way right now, they're just preparing you so that when you do get out of the other side, you are going to know exactly how to handle things. You are going to be able to enjoy life to the fullest, but you're going to have to learn the lessons before you get there. And on the bottom of the deck, you do have the lover's card. Now, the lover's card can mean two things. So for some of you, if you are looking for love, this is what this means. There's love coming in. Or you, if you're in a relationship right now, there's going to be a massive renewal of love. You're going to start finding that connection again. There could be um, a commitment made between the two of you. But if you are looking for love, love is on its way. Love is coming in for you. However, if you are not looking for love, which I've got the stronger energy for, this is about choice. I feel that over the next few months, you are going to be facing a lot of choices, a lot of decisions that you are going to need to make. And you need to go within to make sure you're making the right decision that is right for you, not for anybody else, but the right decision that is right for you. So it could be love or it could purely be about choice. So that's all I've got for you today, my lovelies. Thank you for spending that time with me. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like a personal reading with me, then do uh, check out my Etsy shop, RM Tarot. So link in the description box below. Um, also, all my social media handles are also linked in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. And I hope whenever you watch this, you're having a great day. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.